Um, Eddie Maguire is in the paper today, Robbo. You've written a column, The Tackle. Eesh. And you mentioned... King well, after him a bit. Well, no, King, not really. Kingy, you just mentioned that this is a war that we're living through, and I know we throw that around a bit often, but one of Eddie's quotes from a while ago was that a nuclear bomb has gone off. Yep. You've critiqued that and him today. Can you talk us through your piece? I, it was an interesting read. Right, I think Eddie is... Uh, first thing I'll say about Ed, he is a great devotee to Victoria. He works really hard for the community. There's no doubt about that. I don't listen to Triple M in the mornings, his morning show. I don't listen to any morning radio. But people tell me, uh, well, it's all doom and gloom. I don't want to wake up with doom and gloom. Kingy was on this morning. Uh, were you? I want to wake up with Oh, no, I listened to you. You were talking to Jared. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I was listening to that. It was late morning. It was late morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was late morning. It was brunch. I thought to myself, what are you doing on so late? Because usually come on at 10 or something. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> So I just think some of the language Eddie's using at this, at this time, in this last couple of weeks, we're all stressed, right? We're all conflicted. We're all under pressure. We all want games back. People are losing their jobs. And I think Eddie, in the use of the language such as, oh, it's going to be a mutiny if players don't want to go into these hubs. Mutiny. I mean, I just think that the, 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 the choice of vocabulary is not helping. The fighting with new hang on, fight, fighting with Tony Jones, um, you know, saying to members, Kingy, you know, don't make a run on our football, don't make a run on the clubs. Hang on, hang on, I, I, I haven't got a job. My wife hasn't got a job. I thought it was a sort of semi guilt tripping members. And I just think Eddie, as the headline says, keep arm Eddie and carry on, which is a wartime slogan, isn't it? Keep calm and carry on. From World War Two, that's Winston Churchill. And carry on. He's yeah. doing a mountain of work, but he's up on what I consider threats and, and, and throwing little grenades at people. Hey, hey, this is, this is hard enough. I think, he, I think he's speaking from the heart, though. It's a hard one to, it's a hard one to pair back because that's the package. That's, that's why Eddie's so successful because... He when genuinely he said, cares, doesn't he? When he said the, this is a nuclear bomb, he was spot on. I mean, at no, that no, stage, I... and no, one had, no one had gone that extreme at that stage. And it only was the week or two after that we said, hang on, he's right here. Everyone's all of a sudden we've lost 80% of our staff at AFL clubs. Everyone in the community's lost their jobs. He, he was right with that. I mean, the mutiny one probably there's some, there's some room to move there. Um, gee, I think he's doing a great job. Yeah, I, I'm, no, glad no. We, I'm glad we got him. Eddie, I'm, I'm glad we got everyone working in footy. Everyone we, is we, working in. We've asked in him to come and help us. Who's him? The AFL have got the groups together. He's on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I might be a bit cynical there. They've got, they got, they got the people who make the most noise, which is Ed, Jeff Kennett, hmm. Peter Gordon. Get them, on the in, get, him on, get them on the inside. Pretty you know, it's a, it's a pretty, those, pretty smart move. Um, you know, I... <laughs> people say it's personal. I get them with Eddie pretty well. For a chief football writer and a president... I get with him pretty well. Is he my friend? No. Would he classify me as a friend? No. But when I see the angst that he's causing and the anxiety that he can be causing... Is he, is he causing angst, though? Or is it just... Is bring it... up 700 players who are, who are thinking about not going to the hubs and say, what did you think of the mutiny line? Yeah. 700 are thinking about not going? Oh, no, was that just picking up? Ring up 200. Ring up 10. Ring up whatever. Ring up a number. And say, what did you think of the mutiny line? You know, we, mutiny, that's a strong word, mutiny. Mm. Aren't we in this together? Seriously, aren't we all in this? Hasn't everyone been telling us we're all in this together? I, I guarantee that if ten players choose not to go, it'll be back page of the paper. If ten? If ten players choose not to go, and Ed's used the word mutiny, strong, but if ten choose not to go, it's four pages in your paper. I would think it's going to be more than ten. That's that's all he's saying. I mean, it's it's. It, no, he's not saying that. No, he's not saying that. He said, "Don't expect to get paid, and there will be mutiny at the football club." Well, you can't expect to get paid. But you can. No, but you can't say, you know, it's okay. You can be a conscious objector. No worries. But you're not going to get paid, and there's going to be mutiny in the football club." I mean, I think it was. A, I think it was a, a bit of a backhander we, for we, the players. We've got to move on.